Today I'm going to show you how to take bracelets that look like this and turn them into bracelets that look like this. As you can see, this one is very tarnished. So let's clean it. We have been using Haggerty products for years to clean silver and it is absolutely the best on the market. You're going to need the Haggerty Silver Clean Cloth, the Haggerty Silver Clean Dip, a clean towel to dry this off with, and a cup of clean water to rinse after you've dunked it into the silver dip. A few things to note about the silver dip. It smells like sulfur, like rotten eggs, when you do clean silver with it. So um, I would suggest doing this in a well-ventilated space. It also tends to leak, the jar tends to leak, so be prepared to make sure it's tightly closed anytime you're using it. And I would also keep a towel nearby just in case it leaks, even though you've tightened the lid. Despite the defect with the container itself, um, I, I still would recommend this product hands down over anything else that we have ever tried. Um, so Haggerty is still my favorite, even though they have a little issue with their jars leaking and the smell of the rotten eggs, you know. Ew. For illustrative purposes, I'm going to take half of this and dunk it into the silver dip so you can see the difference from one side to the other. Now, you don't need to leave it in here for an extended period of time, and don't use this on silver plated. Only use this on solid sterling silver, okay? Silver plating is not to be put into the silver clean dip. Also, you saw me remove the pearl dangle from this bracelet before I dunked it in. You never want to put any type of porous stones into this dip. That includes pearls, opals, fluorite, etc. Now you can see that it cleaned a lot of that tarnish off, but you can still see that line, um, that marked line where the dangle was hanging. So <clears throat> we're going to polish that off with the polishing cloth after we put this in for one final dip, the whole bracelet. This video is not sped up. So again, you do not need to leave this in here for an extended period of time. Just dunk it in, leave it in there for, you know, maybe 10 or 15 seconds, and then pull it out and put it into clean water. Rinsing it off is important because this is a, a chemical and you do not want it to be um, stuck in all of the little links of the chain or any of the little crevices <clears throat> on the details of your jewelry. Then we dry it off with a clean towel because you want it completely dry before you use the silver polishing cloth. You can still see that stubborn line, uh, but we're gonna polish that with the polishing cloth. Don't be alarmed, I use this all the time. So this one is uh, loved, as you can see, but it still works perfectly fine. You don't need to replace it when it looks like this. Um, I will eventually replace this, but for right now, it still works really well. So we're gonna continue to use it until it doesn't work anymore. I'm using a little bit of pressure here, but not a lot. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. It just takes, you know, um, just some gentle rubbing to get any additional tarnish off that the silver clean, the dip, did not remove. Again, I did not speed this up, so this is in real time. You can see that the line, that line of tarnish, is now gone. This cloth is a two-step process. So the white part that, or you know, the really dirty white part that you see me using right now, um, that actually has uh, some kind of additive in it that helps prevent it from tarnishing as quickly. So I always um, go over the chain as well as any pieces and parts of the jewelry to make sure that they've all been coated by that anti-tarnish additive. When you're working on the chain, you'll be able to see when uh, the little tarnish lines on the cloth, and I go over it until those tarnish lines almost disappear. Then we're gonna go to the step two process, which is the polishing cloth. That's the gray side of the cloth. Um, and this is just for finishing. It makes the jewelry shine like it was brand new. For those pieces of jewelry that have uh, pearls or other porous stones on them, I only use the silver polishing cloth. So you can see here that I'm going to finish by polishing that um, dangle just using the silver polishing cloth. Because those are made with cultured freshwater pearls and they are dyed, if we were to dip this, it could potentially damage the surface of the pearl as well as the color since they are dyed. 
Now in the interest of time, I will speed this part up because there are little tiny components that took me a while to polish. But you can see, now it is completely finished and it is ready to wear. If you have tarnished jewelry, I highly recommend the Haggerty's products. They also make a pearl cleaning product, um, which we also use on a regular basis and highly recommend, which I can do another video on that if you'd like. But the Haggerty Silver Clean products are absolutely amazing. The two-step cloth and the Silver Clean dip. Go grab yourself some so that your tarnished jewelry can be untarnished and shiny again like new. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful.